Tell us. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> um, I need some. I need. I need some context, like some subject, because the worst thing you've ever done. Uh, <laughs> shit, On a scale of like shit things you've done. <laughs> nothing, incri- nothing incriminating. I don't want this to be like part. This whole podcast to be part of some kind of like inspection. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so uh, the so the police don't knock on my door. Um, exactly. I got oh, yeah. I got I got one funny one. I got one funny one from when I worked at Walkabout. Um, I basically I, I spent a few hours um, brushing about 120 liters of lager down a drain, so I didn't get sacked. For spilling 120 liters of lager, <laughs> because if it's not there, there's no evidence. Um, <laughs> probably that. Yeah, I changed the barrel. I didn't realize it was broken. Then about six hours later, I get a knock on my door because I lived above the pub. Yeah, you might want to come look at the cellar. I come down, literally covered, absolutely covered. Um, so I just got a broom, little drain in the cellar. Was a busy, busy couple of hours, but oh. yeah. I would have just picked up a straw. You needed a hazmat suit, ideally. So, <laughs> so yeah, fear, fear of not being prosecuted. Um, we'll say that. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good one. I like that. It's good. It's a good. That's a good work story as well. Uh, I would have found it funnier though if. Like he was trying to put it on, and suddenly it just started spraying. And he was like there trying to fix it, just sliding all over the place. And for, stuff. for all I know, he did. Like, I, I, it was probably the quickest barrel change I've ever done. What my fault? The the thing was broken. I reckon I just flicked it, walked off, and then ten seconds later, it was probably spraying. <laughs> well, fucking hell! So that was a whole. What did the boss say? Did they say anything about it? No. The best thing about it was I was I was in charge of doing the stock takes. So, <laughs> so, just, just fill up the numbers. We weren't 120 liters of lager down. We were maybe about 20 to 25, which ain't too bad, really. After, after <laughs> so, so I did manage. I did manage to get away with that. Very um, sneaky. I did have the the boss did send the police to knock on my door a few weeks later, but that was an unrelated incident. Was, <laughs> some someone. Someone had uh, stolen twenty-seven thousand pound out of the out of the safe upstairs, but it was somebody with a key, uh, and there was only about eight of us that had the key. I'd moved out a couple of weeks ago. Um, they had the suspects and that. I don't think anyone ever get caught, ever got caught, but because me and the general manager really didn't get on, and uh, remember me and me and James one time went to drop. Uh, we had to take Shanna uh, down to Gatwick Airport. I think it was. I didn't really have a choice in this. I just turned up to training, and James was like, "Oh, do you want a lift home?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." He was, "Oh, we're going via Gatwick Airport." <laughs> oh, fine. Well, okay fine. then. <laughs> but yeah, when I was at Gatwick Airport, I tagged I tagged myself in on Facebook and put, "Oh, twenty-seven thousand in the pocket. Where should I go?" <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Obviously, a few people believed it. One of them being him. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually the worst thing you've ever done. That's what I You stole that money and went to Gatwick. <laughs> well, I would. I would. Yeah. I wouldn't be living. Uh, I wouldn't look like this if I'd stolen twenty-seven grand. Put it that way. I, Actually, twenty-seven grand's front pocket money. That's hair transplant. Hair <laughs> transplant. <laughs> I would be rocking a fucking mullet, mate. <laughs> Maybe you did get your hair transplant, but the 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 transplant didn't take. Yeah. Is that how it Just, works? <laughs> I, I don't know. I told you that in confidence. I told you that in confidence. But, but this, is where, this is this is this is the podcast where I like to come out and ruin everybody's lives. Look for your